was the middle of the day, and a little mouse was laying on his back, looking up through the high grass. You could see a hawk fly by every so often. And then he saw an eagle. And it was the first time he'd ever seen an eagle. And something happened in his heart. He thought that eagle was so tremendous. He couldn't get over it, and the thought came to him right then. I wonder who I really am. And soon some of the other mice were coming by with their cheeks poked full of seeds. It was the middle of the summer. That was what the mice did in, at that time of the year. They, they stocked up their dens with seeds. They'd go to and fro in the high grass where they all lived, where it was safe from the hawks. And they said, what's wrong with you? Come on, get up and get with it here. So he did. And, and you know, a few days later, he, he was doing the same thing, you know, and working with everybody. And But he still had that nagging thought. He kept thinking, I wonder who I really am. And he would ask some of the other mice that question, and they would say, well, that's just foolish. You're a little mouse, and you're just like all the other little mice, and you, you all need to help us fill up our nests for the winter. So one day, on a Sunday, he was off work, and he was walking around in the high grass, and he came around a piece of grass and he ran right into owl and he knew that owls ate mice during the night with their quiet flying they'd be on them before they knew it but as, as long as they stayed in the high grass the owls couldn't get them but here this grass this owl was walking in the high grass and as soon as the owl saw how frightened he was the owl laughed and said, don't worry, little mouse. I'm very old and I've lost my teeth. And all I eat now is worms and grubs. You're okay. So the little mouse was relieved. And he was relieved enough that, and the, the question still bothered him enough that he asked owl. He said, owl, I wonder who I really am. And you know, he expected the same answer. What do you mean you wonder who you really are? Don't be silly. You're a little mouse. But the owl completely surprised him and said, Well, that's a question you'd have to ask Wolf. Wolf would know that. And he was astounded at the answer. And immediately he said, Where can I find Wolf? And Owl said, oh, he lives on the mountain. And the little mouse said, well, where's the mountain? And he said, oh, I'm not even sure which direction it is. All I do is walk around in the high grass looking for worms and grubs. Uh, you could ask Frog to jump up in the air and look to see which way it is. So the mouse thanked him, and he eventually found Frog, and, and he asked Frog, would you jump up in the air and see if you can see which way the mountain is? And Frog looked at him, and he just said, rivet and but then he did jump up in the air way up through the high grass he disappeared up there and then he came down and landed he was a big frog and then he didn't say anything except rivet again and then he turned a quarter of a turn 
and he jumped up in the air again and landed again and then he kind of nodded and he said rivet twice so the little mouse figured it must be that way so he thanked him and uh, it, it was almost dark and it was time to go back to the nest but the little mouse was so driven by this wonder of who he really was that he didn't care about anything except finding out and he went all the way over to the edge of the high grass the, the hawks wouldn't be flying because it was getting dark but the owls certainly might get him but he didn't he was willing to take the chance and he took off towards the mountain he traveled all night it was just getting dawn and then the sun came up and then he saw the shadow of a hawk that had obviously spotted him between him and the sun you could see the shadow and quickly he saw a huge briar patch beside him and he ran into that briar patch just in time and he could hear the the whistle of the wings of the hawk as it just missed him but then as he was getting into the briar patch he, he had been hearing this noise but he wasn't paying attention to it because he was so afraid of that shadow of that hawk but it was a loud terrible loud wailing noise and it was you could hear it clearly now it was saying woe is me for I shall die and he went to where the sound came from and it kept saying it over and over and it, it was bison and he had a huge thorn stuck in his foot and he said woe is me for I shall die and the only thing that can save me is the eye of a mouse and the little mouse thought whoa I better not get close to him I don't want to lose my eye but then he thought you know if he would be willing to give up an eye to save the life of such a majestic bison and he decided to do it and as soon as he decided to his eye flew right out of him like a bolt of lightning and it flew right into the foot of the bison and the thorn in his foot came out and the bison was all right and the bison realized what had happened and he thanked him and the little mouse eventually told him what he was up to and he was on its way looking to find out who he really was from wolf but he said I don't think I can make it because a hawk almost got me already and bison said tell you what I'll walk you right over to that mountain and don't worry you can walk right underneath me in the shade and the hawks won't see you they wouldn't dare come anyway and don't worry uh, us bison know right where our feet are at all times and I won't step on you and the little mouse was so excited and away they went and they traveled all the way across and they they were almost you know to the, they were in the foothills and they were getting higher and higher and finally bison said you know this is as high as I can go but we're above the hawks now we're above the tree line and you'll be fine now just keep going all the way to the top and you'll find wolf and the little mouse thanked him and he kept on going pretty tired but he kept going and he got higher and higher up there and he could hear this noise and 
it was another, it was wailing noise again. And this time it was Wolf. And, and Wolf was saying the same thing. Woe is me, for I shall die. And the only thing that can save me is the eye of a mouse. Well, then the little mouse didn't want to lose his other eye. So he just thought, well, then he thought about it and he thought, you know, I want to know who I really am so much. I'm willing to lose my other eye. And it would save the life of Wolf. It would be worth it. And he decided to. And as soon as he decided to, the eye flew out of him just like it did with the bison and it flew right into the wolf's foot and the thorn came out. And Wolf was so grateful. He said, how can I thank you, little mouse? And little mouse told him the whole story of why he had came. And Wolf kind of laughed. And the little mouse didn't think that was very nice. Here he was, he was blind. And Wolf is laughing at him. And, and then Wolf said, you want to know who you really are? Climb up on the rock beside you. Feel it and climb up on it all the way to the top. And the little mouse did that. And he said, now, now stretch out your arms and tell me what you see. And he had skinny little arms and he stuck them out. And he, the wind was blowing him. He was having trouble keeping his balance. And the wolf kept saying, now open your eyes and tell me what you see. And he said, well, I, I can't open my, but then he realized that he, he could see and he, and he was looking at Wolf. Only Wolf was way below him. And Wolf said, open your eyes and tell me what you see, look around. And he looked to the sides and he had six foot wings and he said I'm eagle and he was he was eagle he flew out over the terrain and he watched wolf disappear on the mountain and he flew down over the bison who was walking back to the briar patch and he flew off for ten years and had a great eagle life. Just being an eagle. And then one day he decided to fly back and fly over his old high grass home where all the mice were. He could see the mice down in through there with his eagle eyes. And then he looked down through the grass and, and he could see a little mouse. And uh, the little mouse was looking up, and the little mouse seen him, and a, a little tear came out of the eagle's eye. He knew what that, that little mouse had in store for him, too. The end.